Breaking news this afternoon, Rodney Reed will not be executed next week. Just moments ago, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals issued a stay of his execution. KVU Defenders reporter Brad Stryker is here now to explain what all this means. Brad. Well, Mike and Terry, this means that Reed won't be executed next Wednesday as planned. He was convicted of killing Stacey Stites in Bastrop, and that happened more than 20 years ago. Now, the Court of Criminal Appeals granted this stay based on a number of different claims from Reed's team. They're temporarily stopping his execution on the basis of possibly concealed information, false testimony, and the chance that Reed is actually innocent. This comes just hours after the state parole board recommended to delay the execution, which would have left the final decision up to Governor Greg Abbott. Now for months, Reed, Reed's family has been protesting and asking the governor to stop the execution and to clear Reed's name. They say that Reed is innocent and they believe that Stites' fiance is the one who actually killed her. Now his family rallied from 7 last night to 7 a.m. and that was at the governor's mansion asking Governor Abbott to stop the execution. But ultimately, Rodney's the one who's advocating for a new trial for himself. I would love to just see him free and home with his with his family. Reed supporters put hundreds of letters outside the governor's mansion saying they believe Reed is innocent. Last night and today, protesters in Washington, D.C. stood outside the U.S. Supreme Court asking the justices to take another look at this case. Now, the prosecutors who originally tried the case say evidence shows that Reed is in fact guilty. Brad, thank you. Senior reporter Tony Plahetsky has been taking a look at this case very closely. Yeah, there's still a lot up in the air, Tony, after this decision today. What is the next step? What happens next? We are going to have months ahead watching this case. Here's what happens now. The case, according to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, now must go back to Bastrop County. It is a district judge in Bastrop County who will review the claims that have been put forth by Rodney Reed, his defense team, as well as the Innocence Project. Mike and Terry, over the next several months, the trial court in Bastrop County will essentially have to review all of this information, and they will likely have a series of hearings or one big hearing where they go by this information and these new claims piece by piece. And essentially after that, the trial court judge will make what the legal system calls findings of fact or conclusions of law. They will decide, the trial court judge will decide whether or not they agree with Rodney Reed's team or not. Then the case goes back to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals and they ultimately have the final say about whether or not they agree with the trial court judge or not. Now they've had this case and they've looked at it closely over the past several years and in each time they have sent it back saying he should be executed, correct? That is my understanding, yes, but they will be taking a look at new information this time. So the, the Court of Criminal Appeals, which, by the way, is the state's highest criminal court, will not be going over information that they've already reviewed before. This is all based on new information that is being brought forth by Rodney Reed and his legal team, as well as the NSA. And it's project. important to note, Tony, that there is no real timetable, so to speak, because there it's not a 120-day uh, uh, reprieve. Uh, they did not put that timetable on it, even though earlier today it was recommended by the uh, Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles that they do the 120 days. There is no time limit right now. I actually think, if anything, this is going to go very slowly. In such a high-profile case where a man's life is on the line, you can rest assured that the trial court judge is going to pursue this very cautiously, very carefully, and then once it goes back to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, they're going to do the same thing. So I've heard predictions of anywhere from eight months, nine months, maybe even up to a year. Mm. A lot of nice eyes on it for sure. For Absolutely. Yeah. Appreciate the update, Tony. You yeah, thanks, you. Tony. Well, from lawmakers to celebrities, many public figures have asked for Reed's execution to be stopped, including Kim Kardashian. She visited Reed today in prison in Livingston, north of Houston. She is one of Reed's vocal supporters and wants Reed to get a new trial. Now, since Texas resumed executions in 1982, only three death row inmates have had their sentences commuted to life in prison. There are currently 215 inmates on death row in Texas. 74 have been there more than 20 years. Reed is one of six inmates currently scheduled for execution.